Hello and welcome to Through the Woods, a game gifted to me on Steam by Pony Doofs. Thank you very much. I've been looking forward to this one. Because, uh, as some of you might know, I'm Scandinavian, Danish to be specific. This game is Norwegian, but it's based on general Scandinavian folklore and takes place in Norway. And it has English voice acting with Norwegian accents, and I'm looking so much forward to this. This is going to be so fun. I I'm really excited. So far, this is pretty. What a lovely little treehouse. Oh, this kid has a rat shirt. Look at that. I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. All right. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm the kid. This is a rat shirt. Look at this shirt. I want this shirt. Oh, hi, bird. I guess we're just exploring and looking around. Just gotta turn my mouse sensitivity down a little. There we go. Where can we go, though? Not to the pier, said mom. So let's go straight to the pier. <laughs> This is lovely. Look at this. Man, I'm not much of a nature guy, but this could be a nice little vacation for a day or two. Run, kid. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to go down here, but here we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, coming. Pizza? Fuck the pier, then. Mom said pizza. I'm going for pizza. You better believe I'm grabbing pizza. Mom, where that pizza at? Alright. This is a love. Look at this place. What a cool little vacation home. Oh, man. Guys, if this is like a real house, we gotta find this and got just go there and chill for a weekend or something. This looks awesome. I'm totally down for that. Anyway, mom said pizza, so I want pizza. Mom, give me pizza. Now, doesn't that look cozy? Listen to that music. <laughs> What the hell kind of indie movie did I put on? And then it was night time. Mom. Hey mom, wake up. <clears throat> wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay. Oh, has she now? Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Kristen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this Oh, so I'm here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for inconveniencing you by being a child. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the... Yeah, you're right. That is an extremely Norwegian sweater. I'm sorry. That sweater is a stereotype in and of itself. <laughs> I love it. Alright, I guess mom is gonna help me pee. How old am I supposed to be? Look at the stars, I think. Okay, I'm being told that the voicing is a little bit low, so hopefully we can actually affect the volume in here. We can't from the looks of it, so just a sec. Let's hope this is better. Alright, there's the outhouse. Alright, cool. I don't have to stand guard exactly, Mom. I'm probably right gonna right fart very you. loudly. Won't you? Of course. I still want that jacket, by the way. Oh, I'm the mom Hello. now? What do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I am. I am exceptionally embarrassing as always. So we could make some hot chocolate, Mom. <laughs> what am I supposed to do while he pees? I can't just abandon him. Go away. Just wait at the path. I can't go while you're standing there. Okay, okay little man. Jesus. Say so. Okay, kid. Easy. I'll go up the path. There's the car. Is this the right path? I have no idea. Where do you want me to go, kid? You done, Espen? Espen? Well, that is definitely a very Scandinavian name. Espen? Wait. You there, buddy? Stop oh, shit. around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. Where'd you go, you little bastard? I mean it, Espen. Come out. The hell? What? Jesus, Espen. Where is he? What are you doing? Oh, there you are. Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. <laughs> you were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. Oh, I was only kidding. Oh, that's I'm a threat. <laughs> Please, can we have hot chocolate? Yes, we can. Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. That makes sense. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Now, if you want crabs, okay. Mama has plenty. Here's broken and dangerous. Oh, here's my flashlight. Please cool. Don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. <laughs> you little brat. All right, we'll make hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. Oh? When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. Uh-oh. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child. Oh no, we're not going to the park territory, are we? My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day... Espen and me were alone. Oh dear. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. Now that's a freaking relief. I didn't love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. Oh no. Wait, are you talking about, like, metaphorically, or is this, like, an after-the-events narration thing? I'm a little confused here. Espen? Where you at, boy? Why didn't you wake me up? Come here, boy! Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. That sounds awesome. Where's that kid? Out playing. playing with what? What's this? Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring. Going out to play. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> Did he draw a piece of shit? Hold on. Hold on. I can't look at it again. He drew a poopy on it. The little bitch. I guess, I guess I made him mad. What's this? Milk, bread, cheese, salami, pizza, grandiosa, hot chocolate! Yay! <laughs> Betting it was Espen who had that. Who added that? Nice. Wait, was that a good? Since I got a little uh, notification there? What's this? Are these, is, are these leftover Chinese food? Oh, it's the radio. I turned on the radio. I was like, what the fuck? Little room here? I nice. loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight, and his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world, and it bled from his imagination his to the oh. in pastels and pen. The process huh. always seemed to distill the harsh world hey, look. into something. A little pure. Viking drawing. Nice. This cottage is awesome. I really actually I'm not joking. I wanna go here. 
I can't interact with this door for some reason. I can, however, clip through it. Well, I guess I better go find my son. I'm willing to bet that damn kid went to the pier. What is he doing out in this cold? Catching crabs. Espen? I hope you're not down by the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Where the fuck else would he be? I don't know how old the Espen, Um Oh, it's a cutscene. I'm not the hey. one moving. Hey! Get away from my son! Wait, what? What's that what's happening? Jesus! Espen, what the hell, dude? Him. Give me back my son! son! Give me back my son! My son! son! What the fuck? Get back here, you ass -head. No! Please! What the fuck? Get back here! Did my son just get kidnapped by fucking Odin? Through the woods, I guess. Oh, that's nice. The title and the hang in the air there. I like that. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Shocking news. You don't say. Shocking news. Um, something along the lines of your fucking son was just kidnapped. She's seriously swimming all the way out to a little island in the This woman is badass already. Yeah, I think your phone might be dead now. What did you expect? Oh, you're pretty spry for someone wearing soaking wet winter clothes. Where the fuck do we go? Just through this gate or up here or... Let's just go through the gate. Espen! Espen! Oh, it is happening. Dickhead kidnapped our kid. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just running. But there are bridges, so I must be going in some kind of right direction? Or did I fuck up since the music just stopped? I have no idea. Well, there's a mountain path over there, so maybe... Where the fuck do I go? I can't get up there, apparently. Like, oh, I can open this. Oh. Aspen! Yeah, keep yelling, but I don't know where to go. This is already a bit ominous. These rocks can't be a good sign. Oh. The fuck is this? Uh, yeah, hi, welcome to my Skyrim playthrough. Hello? It's a little village. Did we find a genuine little viking village? I mean, excuse me for being easily distracted. My son was kidnapped, but hey, history! Hey! Is someone there? I better look around. Yeah, I'm working on it. This is really neat so far, actually. Like, it's not going out of its way to be spooky, you know? The way a lot of horror games do. 
It's just nature and silence and the situation you're in. I kind of dig that. Oh, hold on. Yes, let's get in here. Watch this. Uh, old Eric. Oh, no. The old bastard came to the village yester eve. The craven whoreson took Rydar's boy away. The bastard. No one saw him come, though we set a watch some weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. We'd all a mind to go up there at last and put an end to this but for the gates. The cursed gates won't open for those such as us. All we can do is bide and hope Rydar's boy was the last. The corruption of the man. His heart, if he has one, must be as rotted as a month dead swine. And our gods do nothing. A curse on the whole festering pile of them. And curse on the murdering bastard Eric. So, to give you a little context, Old Eric, that's not a good name. There was a folk tale I'm pretty sure that's a folk tale name for Satan, or at least the Satan equivalent. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good, or old Eric would come and take me. Yeah, at least he's a boogeyman, as at you can hear time, here. It didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later. Well, she is narrating so after sure. the fact. Okay. Well then, that's not good. That's very not good. Shit, man. Uh, where do I go to find out more about this? Can I go in here? Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that was broken when I got here. Damn. This is like a mess hall. This totally is like an, an old Viking village. That's cool. Hmm. What am I looking for here exactly? Other than my son, I mean. This is the stable. Don't think we're gonna find much useful there. What is this? Oh, this must be where the chief sat. Hmm. Anything of note up here? No, not from the looks of it. Hmm. What am I looking for? Is there even anything up here that can help me at all? Is the real question. I don't think there is. I think I gotta go back down. Music's getting folksy. This doesn't look very helpful. I honestly have no idea where I'm supposed to be walking. There's not much of a clear path in this game, which I actually appreciate for once. Because you're not in like... It's not one of those where you're in an abandoned asylum and every hallway looks the same. We are in a village. There are landmarks. Plus, it's just gorgeous to look at. Oh! What's this? The hell is this? Snowman reflectors. Oh, his reflectors. Yeah, okay. Why would they just be there? His reflectors. Well, that makes it even weirder. Magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. What a kid. I could hardly believe any of this was happening. But what I did know was the reflector I found was his. 
Oh yeah. Um. Was that he left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. They're probably gonna be collectible. Yeah. Um. People are talking about in the chat. To anyone watching this who isn't getting I don't know how normal these reflectors are in in the U.S. For instance, but it's actually fairly common for the little classes to be have traffic cops come in, at least in Denmark it was, to have traffic cops come by and give us reflectors that we could put on our clothes. Because um, it gets dark early in winter in most Scandinavian countries. So it's pretty dangerous to walk around in town if you're not wearing reflectors as a kid. It's normal in Sweden too, I'm being told. I had a feeling. I don't know how common it is everywhere else. But definitely here. Now where the fuck else am I supposed to go? Is that more path? No, that's just ruined trees. Where do I go? <laughs> like, I know I just said I kind of appreciate it, but I also want to pro- Oh dear. Mjökstad. Well, I guess that's where I'm going. But when I said get dark soon in, in Scandinavian countries, I mean like 3, 4 p.m. pitch black when it's when it's at the death of winter. What is that? <laughs> they didn't even want to translate it. Fee fun. I don't know what she even just reacted to. I didn't see it. The hell is this? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No! Guys, that's a troll. That is 100% a fucking troll. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Oh shit, we better not run down there. Oh, Troll Hunter is a great movie. Definitely. Where am I going? Just running all over this freaking island with no clue. I really want to advance the story here because I'm actually already invested. I mean, it's it's so rare that <laughs> cultural appropriation. Mur, 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 mur. It's so rare that Scandinavian folklore gets portrayed accurately in most media. Hell, even our own media fucks it up fairly often. So, just the fact that we walked past a troll sleeping, and it's not emphasized at all. You're just left to make that connection yourself. I like that. God damn it, where does this path begin? Oh, actually, we found a cave now. So things are happening. Cool. Can I turn on my... Do I not have my flashlight anymore? Oh, she probably... She probably used her phone and we fucked that thing up. Shit. Looks like the old bastard pulled the bridge across. Of course he did. Too far to jump. I'll have to go down. Working on it. What are we gonna find in this cave? Trolls? Probably trolls. Oh. Sorry. I'm being told I missed a reflector. I mean- Whoa! Okay. I think I fell down. Oh, runes. Well, never mind the reflector. You know what? I'm gonna go see if there is one. I'm sure they're not at all important, other than being a collectible for achievement reasons. Which is not something I'm a fan of, personally, but might as well. I don't think I can get back up. Oh, there's another cave over here. I really wish I had my flashlight right now. But I do not. Okay, okay, now things are getting interesting. 
There's a light up there. So someone is here. Or was here recently. Uh-oh. More light ahead. Where? Where? She keeps yelling that she sees things way before I see them. Oh, dude. Um, let's just watch this cutscene first. I gotta react to something that was in the chat after. No, his jacket! Well, can I have it? It's probably a couple hundred sizes too small, but, you know. Don't you hurt him! I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. Can I at least have a flashlight now? That would be very nice. <laughs> There's a no in denial? What? There's no I in denial. Yes, there is. Um, so what were you saying? Oh, yeah. Someone in the chat is saying that, uh, the lead actress from the old thriller movie, Thriller, the Swedish 70s exploitation movie, is coming to your default. She came to Bloody Weekend a year or two ago. I met her. That was a hell of an experience. That movie is it's not for the faint of heart, by the way. Jacket. Do not watch if you're the least bit squeamish about anything it ever. It felt like something inside me broke. I would imagine so. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He had been taken from me. His coat. His little coat lying in that dark place. I like that she took it with her and we can see it on her back. That's nice. Mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me and I let him down as I had so many times before. Jesus, be, be a little nicer to yourself, lady. Some asshole kidnapped him. That's not your fault. I promised myself I would find him and bring him back. Now that we agree on. That was a promise I could keep. These subtitles are fucked, by the way. They're all over the place. But I guess they're set to the Norwegian uh voice track that would make a lot oh what's this oh it's just a weird light trick i thought there were rooms for a sec see so far not much has happened in this game we're about half an hour in but it's still really en endearing and engaging wait we back here i guess we're going this way Cause I sure don't know where the hell else to go. Uh oh. Yep. What? What does that say? Tursvik. Okay. Is that a drawing of? Is that a drawing of tear? I think it might be. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing some people saying what they're squeamish about in the chat right now. Stay away from Thriller. Don't watch it. You're not gonna like what you see. Well, this is a spooky path right up here. Yeah, sci-fi world you default to meet Christopher Lloyd sounds awesome. I would love it. That man is a goddamn treasure. What is that over there? Is that another reflector? No, it's a little it's a little candle. What the hell? It's not a candle, it's an oil lamp. Huh. Oh shit! Oh my god! The Christian blood achievement, holy shit! 
Well, there's just a troll there. What the hell? I thought the moaning was like spooky thing or it was her getting scared or something. I, I did not see the troll fucking coming. Jeez, okay, let's keep the flashlight off. Or not, so I can see where the hell I'm going, but we definitely gotta watch out. Is that the troll? Is that the one that woke up? Uh, for those that don't know what that achievement was about, um, trolls in uh, Scandinavian folklore are said to be able to smell Christian blood and go after them. So, uh, that was fucked up. Was it just, like, lurking around, or... Oh, sh... There it is. Okay, I hear it now. Can I crouch or do anything to hide? Oh, fuck. Can I... Can I hide in any way? Like, there's no hiding spot here. I guess I just run. I don't know to where, but away from the troll would be preferable. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, this sucks. No! What do I do? I gotta look for somewhere to fucking hide. Over here? Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Do I, like, wait for him to walk past or something? Does he only start moving when I get... Nope. Ground shaken. Go away. He's around. Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, there he is. He's walking past. Okay, stay away. Yeah, go to the campfire. Go down there and relax, buddy. Just stay the fuck away from me. Okay. Now we should be able. Okay. I think we made it past him. I guess we should follow these little candles for now. I call them candles, they're oil lamps. Oh, this is pretty. Spooky, but pretty. I know how it sounds, but it's true. All of it's true. I can't explain it. I can hardly believe it. But what the fuck? The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old What the at their house. What happened to the moon? I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so Did Piccolo shoot it? Before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil, and I knew these pictures were not for my eyes. Huh. The island was like that. The journals, the troll, the I've, broken I found, like, one journal. I'm not I doing a very thorough job of searching, lady. Things. I was intruding on something secret, and I didn't belong there. Something's definitely wrong. Trolls and a fucking broken moon? This is, uh, this is some shit right here. I'm definitely intrigued by this game so far. Again, not a lot has happened aside from fucking troll. Where am I going exactly? I 
I'm very happy that she doesn't have a stamina bar, by the way, and I can just run forever. Even though that means I have to listen to her huff and puff like a maniac. Oh, another hut. Cool. Anything interesting in there? Sure hope so. Oh, there's something here. Oh, Nuken! Now we're getting to the folk, ta folk tale stuff. Tis said Nuken lurks in the waters near here. Can't say I've been one for such fanciful stories for yestereve. Saw a small grassy hillock resting in the water. The lake's usually smooth as glass, so I rubbed my eyes and I looked again, and by the gods, I swear I saw a pair of eyes staring out at me through the tangle. I blinked, but the hillock was gone with a ripple. I shuddered and bent back to me work, but then there came a bubbling in the waters right near the shore, and a clump of weedy tendrils dripping mud came searching from the lake. I sprinted away to my cabin, gibbering, thinking what kind of ghastly creature might follow those weedy fingers. It is said you can rid yourself of Nuken if you speak its name. The thought that something could give a creature like that a name is near enough to drive me mad. Oh, Nuken, we don't want to fuck with that guy if he's around. Oh shit, that is Nuken. Oh my god, it's just coming straight for me, isn't it? What the hell? Okay. I did not expect it to just be there. But again, that's what happened with the troll. I have a feeling I should just run for it along this shore here. I'm not waiting to see what the Nurkin wants with me. She oh, I hear him bubbling. Stay away, buddy. There's another reflector. Yeah, he's gonna grab this me when I grab that, isn't he? You're alive. Don't be scared, little man. I'm coming. Yeah, so is the Nukin. Oh, it's a little squirrel. There we go. Dang. Okay. I did not like that sound. What was that? Okay, I think we're far enough away from the shore that the no Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're in danger. Yep. Oh. What just happened here? Tursvik. Sti oh, still. Okay. this place now can I get up there yes I can where are you Where are they? Where are they? Where are the people I hear? What the hell? How could I miss that? To Ingrid. Ingrid, my darling. I've done something terrible and have shamed ye and myself. I wanted to fight for ye and make ye safe. I know this was a foolish notion, and your father saw it true. Set out to try and stop old Eric afore he could come to claim ye. But ye are meant to stop me. I cut him. I cut his neck and he bled out. I can't wait here for Eric to take ye. I can't. 
I know I'll never earn forgiveness from ye or the gods, but I'm leaving. Don't be scared, my sweet girl, and don't ye search for me. Mayhaps ye along will raise the sails and join yet farther upon the lovely ocean once more. With love, your mother. Huh. Okay. I, they were here. I heard them. This paper is so old. Yeah, Viking ghosts. That's a thing now. I guess we should inspect these other cabins while I'm here. There might be other interesting stuff. Can I go in here? Well, I was in here a moment ago, so... Nothing interesting here. Oh, here's something. What's this? A wedge! Huh. Okay. Oh, I took it with me. Guess it must be important. What about here? Can I go in here, please? I'll be waiting. How about Snail returned from his hunting here this eve? That cursed troll took him, I know it. Oh, Harbard, always sneaking onto the horrid creature's hole to pick bones and steal rotted furs he was. Troll's too slow and stupid to catch me, he oft says, but rare is the day he returns so late. And now I sit here, hungry and lonesome, and wonder from whence my next wheel will come. Ye fool, Harbard. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. Dumbass. Anything else here? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Guess that's all there is to find here for now. Unless there are more cabins as I move along. I do like that I don't have to bother to stop and open gates. She just kind of does it when you move. That's nice. Keeps things a flowing. This game is pretty excellent so far. Like, again, nothing much has happened. But I'm deeply immersed. I mean, it helps that... It helps that I have a cultural connection to all the stuff we hear about, but... Shit. Shit. Better stay off my fucking back. I think we've progressed. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Askeladen, the uh, the character that was mentioned when we grabbed the um, the wedge. But I'm being told in the chat that that character's first name is Espen. So that's interesting. Where are we now? What's this? Oh, another oil lamp. When Espen was younger, his father did something terrible. Okay. To Espen, to me, to himself. What? I was left all alone with a child I couldn't confide in. It didn't give me the chance to say I was sorry, and I never forgave him. What happened? But in the forest, I was alone again. Desperate for the person I loved the most. And right then, I could almost understand. Oh, he Espen's abandoned you. Did what he did. Well, yeah, either abandoned them or killed himself. Sure sounds like it. Another hut over there, from the looks of it. Unless it's just another rock and I'm blind and stupid. I mean, I am blind and stupid, but... Certainly something up there. Oh, that bridge looks trustworthy. Sure, let me just walk right over this. You're kind of taking up the whole screen, lady. 
Is there any way I can zoom back out? Uh oh. There are trolls here. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Shit, I think I... I think I accidentally provoked him with my flashlight. Where can I hide? Where can I hide? There's gotta be somewhere I can go and hide. Over here. Hopefully. No, 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 he can see me here. Shit! Oh, he's gonna get me now. Yeah, he's coming straight. Walk past, walk past, please. Walk past. Walk past! <gasps> he's walking past! Don't spot me when you turn around. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, this could be a problem. I'm going to have to advance very carefully here. So, is he, like, patrolling? Okay. Oh, shit! The fuck, dude? Just keep going, man. Maybe he heard me. Maybe he can, like, hear your footsteps. Or it's another case of him smelling my blood. Go away, dude! No, go away! What are you doing? Oh, come on! How do I avoid this fucker? There's like no way! Uh... I'm... He gets so close... Oh my god! What do I do to avoid this guy? I haven't had a chance to like see the terrain ahead of me. That kind of sucks. If I'd had a chance to see what terrain is ahead, I'd have a better chance of like knowing where he goes. And I'm fucked. Now I can't see where he is at all. Shit, 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 shit. Find somewhere to hide. Where yet? Where he at? Where is he? I don't really see him anymore. Oh, please, no, don't let it be Hugo. No, 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 no. No, go away. Okay, I think we shook him off. Get up here. Are we going over to his campfire? Or are we headed into a... We're headed into a little cave. Okay, cool. But there is fire in here. What's that? What's burning? The hell is this? Who made a fire in here? Why can I still hear the fucking troll? He's around here. I can hear him. I can see the screen shaking from his footsteps, but... Where the fuck? <laughs> okay. Wait, did I circle back? Shit! 
Did I circle back? Fuck! No, go away, troll. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, troll. Ah, ah, in here. Okay. I honestly can't tell if I'm going a new direction or if I, I've circled back somehow. He's coming. But where do I hide, though? Wait, that wasn't me speaking there, was it? Oh, this looks right. This looks like a new area. Yeah, this is definitely new. Am I hearing music? Definitely hearing music from somewhere. What is this? A little storage? They got shields and pots in here. Oh, what do we have here? Holger Danske, is that you? What are you doing in Norway? He had noticed Vax. Oh! To all able bodied men and boys of age. Hati and Skull's reign in the t Hati and Skull?! Oh, we could be fucked. It's soon to be over. We plan to trap the Varks in the ravine up in the mountain pass. Every man and boy of age is to gather by the door in Vidabu for your dawn, two days from the next moon. We shall lure the beast to the ravine with Ophal and seal the doors on the Foul Brothers forever. Failure to lend ye a hand will be punishable by the Red Iron. Forsborg here on behalf of Jarl der Mjörskeg. Okay. If we're dealing with Hati and Skull, <laughs> shit just got bad. Once again, to those not familiar with, um... With Scandinavian folklore, those would be the wolves that eat the sun and moon during Ragnarok. Which explains the fucking moon we saw. So, this is bad. Are we... Are we in a Norse world where Ragnarok happened? Is that it? Did Ragnarok actually happen here? I think that's what it's telling me. Hey, Uh-oh. Open the door. I need to find my son. God damn, where is my son? The children are gone, Eric. All gone. I'm not Eric. I think he has my son. Who is he? What's he going to do? If Eric has your son, Wanderer, there'll be no hope for him. Now get you from my door! Well, excuse the fuck out of me, you dick. Oh. That might be a little bit of an overreaction, buddy. Okay, then. So he's not going to be very helpful. Nothing in here. Oh, we're definitely not crossing this way. Hmm. What's this then? Aha! Missing daughter. Curse that old bastard Eric. Curse him. Jorun was missing this morn. It must be him. 
Look down the well and by the bridge, by Joron were always afeared of the water. What? Look down the well by the bridge, but Joron were always afeared by the water. Now I get it. Found boot prints outside the window. More inside by Joron's cat. Cut. Bastards nearly five years early. Why? What would possess him? The thought of my little girl being dragged up that mountain to face such a fate. Villagers gathered and agreed the wolf must have re uh, reneged on his bargain. Fiendish beast must crave more children to sate its cursed never-ending hunger. And we are to allow this injustice? We must. We're powerless to stop him. They bleated. Powerless. The man folk says it's all for the greater good. Spatter their feet and bid farewell to the whole cowardly blood. I can't stand to look at Eric's house on the hill no more. Okay then. So this guy is catching children and feeding them to Hati and Skull? Is that what's happening? I'm not I'm not clear. Can I like get back out, please? Oh here it is. So I guess I'm going to the top of the hill somehow. Hmm. Oh, thank God. Hello? Wait, are the people Excuse here? Me. Uh, my son's been taken, and I just... <laughs> oh, you're too late, bastard! Too late! Wait, is it something it's in done. here? <laughs> Where is this person? I'm looking for my son. An old man with a white beard took Where him. is this person I'm talking to? This way. Please, have you seen them? He's done. Don't you see? Your son. You shan't take her from me now, Eric. You shan't take her. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not Eric. I won't touch your daughter. Who is he? Does he have my son? Please, I need to know. I seriously don't see where this person is. Oh, there he is. I, I couldn't see him. Sent my little girl on. <laughs> Well, this is a problem. Oh, How did I not see this guy? God, please don't tell me that's your daughter. Oh dear. Look what you made me do! Look at her, ye hateful bitch! <laughs> my baby, my beautiful boy. Oh Christ! No. I had to do it. Tell me I had to. Bastard! Bitch! The wolf will never accept a child so cold. <laughs> Did he kill her himself? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Please what? I can't do anything, buddy. I guess he's just there now. I have no idea how I missed this guy, by the way. I guess I'm in such a hurry to explore that I'm just like sipping past people. So now I feel rightfully stupid. What's this? Oh, pottery shard. I'm guessing that's just a collectible, but. So I don't think we could do anything for this poor fella. I think we uh might just have to leave him to his devices with his uh child corpse which is a thing that he has <laughs>